Well, a groundbreaking new treatment is giving patients battling a rare disease a second chance at life. Yeah, Cohen's Children Medical Center is the first in New York State to offer gene therapy for a rare disease similar to sickle cell. Until now, treatment included a bone marrow transplant. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu introduces us to the eight-year-old who became the first New Yorker to benefit from this therapy. The doctors who were part of this say this is something the medical community has been working toward for decades. Youssef is the first patient in New York State to receive this type of gene therapy, and they say it's an absolute game changer, not for just those who have this particular disorder, but for similar disorders as well. In many ways, Yusuf is just your average eight-year-old. He loves dinosaurs, watching TV, and playing with his twin sister. But now he's making history as the first patient in the state of New York to undergo an FDA-approved gene therapy for a rare inherited blood disorder called beta thalassemia. This is just such an unbelievable time to be practicing. We're literally watching medicine change on a day-by-day -day basis in front of our eyes. Previously, the only treatment options were a bone marrow transplant from a donor, usually a compatible family member, or blood infusions every two to four weeks. Yusuf, unable to find a match, has received transfusions at Cohen Children's Hospital since he was two months old. This new therapy changes that. The patient is his own donor. We actually collect the patient's own stem cells and uh, send them to a lab where a gene is added into the blood cells so the patient can start producing the normal adult hemoglobin. When the cells are ready, we receive the cells back and infuse them back to the patient. 15 years ago in this very hospital, Yusuf's aunt, Eliza, underwent a bone marrow transplant for the same disorder. His mom, Yusara Ahmed, says the advancements since then are astonishing, and it now gives Yusuf and the family a chance at a life without monthly visits to the hospital. Very relieved and very happy that we're, you know, back to like a more normal setting and a more, more normal life where it's not just like, oh, we have to take out a whole day for a transfusion. And we're just very thankful. In New Hyde Park, Janice Yu, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.